Okay, it is really hard to climb out of a queen size bed when you are in between two sleeping children. <gasps> okay, I scooched over because the glare on my glasses is really bad from the other seat. Okay, so today's video is just going to be kind of like a brain dump. I feel like I have a lot on my mind and I could just list it here with you guys and you can see kind of what's on my brain, how my brain works. Um, and also it's kind of like a story time because there are some things that did not get vlogged last week that were so hilarious and so funny that I have to tell you about them. So a couple of things that have just been on my mind are just things that I need to get done. Like when you get in bed, if you're the type of person who like lists off everything you need to be thinking about doing, whatever, that's totally what I do when I get into bed. Halloween costumes that I need to be making, Porter wants to be an, an octopus and Piper wants to be a mermaid and so we are gonna work with that and I still have to figure out what that means for me and Zach because I'd like to have family themes and so if Zach and I are going to be like fishermen or sharks or mermaids or octopi, I don't know. Zach's school has been on my mind just trying to like help him and make sure that he is like enjoying his experience and doing my part in this whole experience in grad school and um, making sure he eats because he has really liked the burritos I made if you guys saw my the, the video of me making those frozen burritos. They've worked really well, so that's been really good. Getting my house finished and just like organized, that's like a constant thing, like how can I make my home a happier place, a better place? So I'm constantly kind of thinking of that. There's frames I need to still fill with pictures. I need to put stuff on the kids' walls. And like, really I say need to because it's like a need of mine to have things on my walls. Otherwise, it just like makes me sad. And so I'm sad when I go into their room because there's nothing on the walls except for like a BYU football poster, which is great, but you know, I, I need some I need some inspirational things in there for them. I feel like I'm getting sick, and so that's been on my mind. Like, uh, I need to sleep good so that I can wake up good and I can health stuff. Health stuff has been on my mind. But I don't exercise right now. I'm feeling like I'm gaining a lot of weight really fast. Anyway, just pregnancy stuff is on my mind. Making sure that doctor's appointments are the sleep I need, eating the foods I'm And then also there's just like family things, like extended family things on my mind. I just, we're not with any, either of our families anymore, except for Zach has a little brother who's here with his wife. And then my little sister's here, and so we get to see them like often, and so that's fun. And Zach's parents were just here, which is part of my storytelling, which is really, we had a really great time with them while they were here. I just, I miss everyone, and, and I just hope that I'm communicating with all of like my siblings regularly. I'm the kind of person that can like totally like go off on my own and not talk to anybody and feel like it's fine when it really isn't, and so I need to make sure that I'm like texting or calling or emailing or responding to their like, posts on Instagram and Facebook and things just so that they know that I'm still, that I still love them, <laughs> but I'm not very good at that. And so I'm trying to make sure that my family still um, knows I love them. And then not to mention all of this YouTube stuff, I really want to grow my channel, grow my subscribership, start making better content, things like that. It's just a lot. And I'm like the kind of person who can have a ton on their plate and still look fine, but it'll just like explode all over the place. Some like one day it'll just all just I'm not the person who just is kind of like has a nice easy level of stress constantly and so I'm constantly getting things done because of that level of stress. I'm kind of like very free will, go with the flow all the time. But it doesn't work when I have like this huge list of things I gotta get done because it piles up and then it explodes on everybody, mostly Zach. <laughs> anyway, that is everything on my mind. I'm happy I got that out because I needed to just get it out there in the universe so that it knows that everything's happening. But I love, I'm loving life right now. Life is crazy, but I'm, I'm just really loving our new house, our new place. I love the weather, it's getting to be fall. It's like really cold these last couple of days. Like we woke up and it was like in the 30s this morning and obviously I didn't go outside, but I saw that it was on the 30s in my phone. <laughs> um, but like we get the kids in their sweaters and jackets and I love it. I love that kind of stuff. And so that like energizes me. I think that's really fun. Anyway, so I'll, I'm gonna tell you a couple of Maybe just one story, and I'll save the other one for later if there's not enough time. The other night, what? Oh, I made soup. I made a really yummy minestrone soup that I got off of Pinterest, and it was like just packed with all vegetables, no meat. It was a really fun recipe for me to make, and 
Obviously, the kids were having a really hard time eating this soup. They did not care for it. It was new things that they had never eaten. So I had butternut squash, zucchini, or I don't know. They, they've had a lot of these things before, but they were acting like they've never had it before now. So Piper, little Miss Piper, we got some Parmesan cheese out, like a little, you know, packaged thing of shredded Parmesan cheese, and we had it, and we would sprinkle it on their soup to make them hopefully like it more because I know they like cheese, especially Piper. But Piper likes to put her little fingers, she really wanted some more cheese and so, but I said no because she just wanted to like pick it and eat it right out of the bag. Um, so I was saying no Piper and she had like, like I'm sitting right here and she's sitting like right next to me. She had it, she had the bag and I'm like trying to get it from her, like asking her to give it back to me instead of like me like yanking it from her. I'm asking her to give it back and she won't give it back and so she's like, no, 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 no. And she throws the bag of cheese like across the room. It hits the wall and like shredded cheese like flies all over the floor, all over my plant. And I, <laughs> I literally like Zach makes, Zach, this is the funniest part. I went like this. <gasps> There's the biggest like surprised, astonished gasp that I've probably ever had. <laughs> It was so funny. I mean, we were just like, what is going on? And she knew that she had crossed a line. It was pretty cute. Um, so we were both trying not to laugh slash to discipline her. And she's just like, you know, she, she does this. She'll like stick her nose in the air and just be like, I'm fine. Like, I didn't do anything wrong. So Zach gets up, gives her a little spanking. Not too bad, okay? Just a little tushy swat. And he goes and takes her and puts her in on the couch and she was in timeout and she she cried because I think she knew she was in trouble. But I don't think it was like a I'm mad at you cry. It was just like a I know I did something bad cry. <laughs> so she sat on the couch the whole rest of the night. I had to leave at like 7.30 and they go to bed at 8. And so Zach said he made her stay on that couch because she needed to know that she had done something really bad and she'd crossed a line way crossed the line. So she sat on the couch and him and Porter like played, they played Candyland and she wasn't allowed to play right, right in front of her. It was a harsh punishment, but I think she learned her lesson. And I'm trying to think if she's like acted out since then. She still like has her cranky times, but I don't think she'll ever do anything like that again. I'm still trying to figure out what her most effective, what the most effective form of discipline is for her. She really reacts to Spanx. And like, we don't like make her, we don't like get a belt out or anything. We just like swat her bum and she thinks that's like the worst thing ever. So we have to do that sometimes. Um, timeouts are good for her too. But uh, yeah, so still trying to figure her out. Anyway, thanks for listening to my rambling, you guys. This is definitely a rambling brain dump story time video. And if you've made it this far, Congratulations, you are a true Brofington family member. Thanks for watching, you guys. Make sure you stay tuned um, for Thursday's video because it's gonna be very special and we're working really hard on it and I think it'll be really, really fun. So stay tuned for that. Um, you can do that by subscribing. Click that big red subscribe button. Other than that, that's all I have to say for today, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, Porter. Okay, Mom. Yeah, that's where we are? Yeah. Oh, you can tell because that's where the lions are.